As soon as I have read the motion, you will have 15 minutes to prepare. You may use any notes, books, or devices you find helpful. Once the debate begins, you may no longer use... Each of you will speak for up to four minutes. Time is up. Uh, could one student from each team please come up and fill in the speaker letters and initials and the team number? Blue circle. Circle the letter of the first speaker and the second speaker and the third. Fill in the initials. <coughs> um, could you also fill in your team number and school represented on your team? The team numbers on the left. Circle the numbers and write it at the top. All right, speaker number one for the affirmative side. You'll have four minutes to speak. Please approach the front of the room, introduce yourself, and begin. Ladies and gentlemen of the room, I am representing the first speaker from the, from the affirmative side, and we, the affirmative, today are here to debate the motion that globalization has been good for music. We agree without the shadow of a doubt that globalization has been good for music. And this is because we believe that, global, uh, that music, globalization helps music to shape cultures. Ladies and gentlemen, I would like to ask you today, have all of you in this room heard of Sai's Gangnam Style? Yes, you have? Okay, great. So, since you have, how, how do you know of this song? You know of it because of globalization. Without globalization, none of you in this room would have known about that song. And this is because of a term that we, we would like to call musical globalization. We believe that globalization shapes cultures, and because of globalization, we are able to experience and you know exchange different cultures because of globalization we know of other people's cultures and they know of ours this uh, we are not disregarding our own cultures but we are experiencing theirs this gives us a topic uh, this uh, global globalization of music has given the world topics to <coughs> be spoken of with each other because of globalization of music we can meet someone from a different country, uh, let's say for, for one of these competitions, for WSC itself. Uh, we can go up to a, to a scholar from a different country and say, hey, have you heard this song? And if they have, well, there you go, there's another subject to talk about. Instead of discussing the weather, because in case it, it was raining, because that's such an interesting subject. <laughs> because of musical globaliza globalization, um, the, the world has been informed of other people's cultures and each country, country's culture, their music 
it has been spread worldwide. Each, uh, all people from each country are able to access music from other people's countries, getting to know their cultures, their ways, the way they sing, the way they talk. We, the affirmative, we define music as vocal or instrumental sounds combined to, produ to produce uh, harmony. Uh, this is not um, either electronical or um, live, or live, like ele either electronical or live. And uh, we define, uh, that's how we define music. My second speaker will be talking about the appreciation of music worldwide and about a musical career and talent. And my third speaker will be talking about how globalization has made music accessible. So, we, the affirmative team, strongly believe that globalization has been good for music and it has, in fact, been a better meant to the world. Thank you. All right, you'll have one minute to prepare before I call up the next speaker. Speaker number one from the negative side, please approach the front of the room, introduce yourself, and begin. You have four minutes to speak. Good evening, adjudicator, opposition, fellow team members, and audience. I am I'm representing Island School from Hong Kong, and we are going to argue against the motion that globalization has been good for music. We're gonna, we would like to start by defining some terms. We define globalization as the as a growth of something to a worldwide scale, an exposure to other countries, cultures, and peoples. This, this notion is quite, the meaning can vary because what is good for music? We're defining good for music as the music that is produced after globalization is more varied, more creative, and ni more nice to listen to, and, and better des describes the people in South Korea ride, riding horses, looking at sexy ladies, just lying on beaches all day. A lot of people think that, that Gangnam Style is commenting on, oh, look look how rich we are, we are so cool. But actually, it's mocking them. So many people can judge other cultures wrongly because of their music and what they hear. We believe that this motion must fall because globalization re reduces opportunities for small musicians, suppresses cultures, and makes people more careless with their language. For instance, how many musicians are there in the world that produce music on a worldwide scale? There were 2,511,000 2, in 2001, according to the population census. In 2001, the population of the world was 6 billion. Think of just how many more there will be now when the population of the world is one billion more people. How many millions of more musicians will there be? With all these musicians producing so much music, smaller musicians that are less well known won't get a chance to get have their music known. What if that music is better or more interesting, more nice to to than the, than the stuff that gets international fame and credit? But we, would, we, we don't know because global, globalization has suppressed these musicians and they don't have the chance to sh show what they're good at. This is why I believe that this motion must fall. Thank you. All right, you'll have one minute to prepare before I call on the next speaker.
affirmative side, you'll have four minutes to speak. Please approach the front of the room, introduce yourself, and begin. Good evening, Mr. Julie Keir, um, teammates. Now I'll be talking about my point. I will, uh, first, I'll be talking about appreciation of music. So, uh, so you see, good music uh, comes from uh, some countries, and other countries don't have good music. So, so sometimes there are there are people in Japan that really like uh, rock, uh, they like uh, uh, music, music from the rock genre. And without uh, globalization, there wouldn't there wouldn't be rock uh, uh, rockers in Japan. So they wouldn't appreciate music, uh, music in their country. So, so it is really important for them because uh, because. Because sometimes the uh, rock music for Japanese guys are actually very important because uh, they, they really like them. We are adjudicator, uh, fellow team members, opposition, and audience. Today I am strongly, uh, deba uh, strongly debating uh, the motion that uh, globalization has been uh, a bad influence for music. Uh, I'd first like to rebut uh, the second speaker of the opposition, some of the points mentioned by the second speaker of the opposition. Uh, the, the opposition uh, mentioned that, uh, uh, mentioned that um, nice to listen uh, can be defined. But if, but if say, you took someone uh, from uh, someone in this room and you took another person, that you'd be, I'd be, I'm, I'm almost 100% sure that the whole point of globalization is to actually spread music all across the world, such as classical music, which is... All right, you have one minute to prepare before I call the next speaker. Three for the affirmative side. You will now have four minutes to speak. Please approach the front of the room, introduce yourself, and begin. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, honorable judge, and esteemed members of the opposition. My name is Philip Muzneshi, and I'm from the British School of Eucharist, and today I'm representing the third speaker for the proposition. As you all may know, we are here today to debate the motion. This house believes that globalization is, has been good for music. I'd like to start off my speech by pointing out a few flaws in the opposition's argument. Both the first and second speaker said that globalization in music makes you lose your culture. Last, to ask you something. We're here at the World Scholars Cup Tournament of Champions with students from all over the world. English for many of these students is not a first language, but yet we're all here, we're speaking English. Just because we speak English, have we forgotten our actual language, whether that be Indian, Greek, um, English, or whatever? No, we have not, ladies and gentlemen. Mm -hmm. The second speaker um, also mentioned that not everyone can like one genre of music. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, that is exactly what us, the proposition, are saying. Globalization has taken measures, in a way, to induce other, measures, other genres of music and bring it to all parts of the world. Now, I'd like to also say something, that if it wasn't for globalization, from the beginning of this competition, we wouldn't have had 2,000 scholars deba discussing, debating, and communicating about songs such as She'll Be Coming Round the Mountains, or um, Oregon Trail, or many others which were given to us at the beginning to study. Now I'd like to move on to my point here, which is that globalization helps the economy and makes it and makes um, population more aware. Globalization makes music more accessible to people because global NMM, uh, sorry, multinational companies that deal with music such as YouTube, Warner Bros. Studios, Sony, Virgin Media, like give it out to the world. This allows everyone to hear what is being created by various artists from different cultures, different parts of the world. They can all come in one. They can all share their ideas. This makes the music industry bigger, helping the economy. Over the past, la over the past year, 9%, the music industry has grown by 9%, which, ladies and gentlemen, is an astounding $5.6 billion. 
music makes also people more aware. Such as the song Strange Fruit, which is about racism. It generated many comments, many controversial comments. It generated awareness, ladies and gentlemen. Awareness about racism in some parts of the country. It generated awareness for everyone. Music also inspires people around the world, creating role models. Some may particularly like an artist, such as, let's say, Demi Lovato for her strength after her past years, after having gone to rehab and so on. Ladies and gentlemen, all this wouldn't be possible to globalization. So I'd like to thank you and just say that globalization has in fact been good for music. Thank you. Thank you. We now have one minute to prepare before I call up the next speaker. Yourself and begin. Hello, for a dear adjudicator, um, team opposite, opposition of us, our own team, and the fair audience. My name is Rusha Bora, and I'm from Island School, uh, I'm representing Island School, Hong Kong. Before I conclude with all my points, I'd like to make uh, several rebuttals that has been uh, rebuttals to statements that have been made throughout the whole debate by all the speakers. Um, I think this is the second speaker who made this statement. And it was a statement how they said, what if your own culture's music was bad? Well, you have actually given us a point. Because now, if you think like this, basic, this basically shows that globalization has narrowed down our minds to think that other, our own cultures or other, own, other people's cultures, which are not popular, uh, which are not popular, uh, are bad. And it, and it shows that um, globalization has just made them more Americanized to popular, uh, uh, more Americanized to popular songs that are made in America and UK. Um, and also uh, another rebuttal to, uh, another rebuttal to genres. You said it has given, it has created more genres in music. I do agree. And you said it has created more chances for people to show their music, but I do agree. But at the same time, it has taken out those genres that people used to love, like classical music, one of the greatest music in the world. I'm, I'm pretty sure not a lot of us over here listens to classical music, and it's mainly because of globalization, and they do not deserve this. Uh, secondly, uh, people like live musicians, you said musicians have a great chance, but if you think about it, how about uh, if you think about it nowadays? The most popular music is electronic music, dance music, all of those music that can just be done on a laptop. How about the real music that can be done uh, on live concerts? How about those people who do live, uh, who do live, mu make live music? Uh, because of globalization, uh, they have lost their chance to show what they are. Um, another, you said that um, globalization has helped people realize awareness about racism and has brought good role models to this world. But I have uh, several examples to show you that it's been, it's actually the opposite. Uh, first of all, we had mentioned the point about racist remarks made by globalized songs nowadays and um, sexist comments, for example, a song called Blurred Lines. Because of globalization made in music, they, the artists, they feel very open about everything and they don't realize that by their music, they're making a lot of sexist comments that can influence people in this world really badly. How about, um, and <coughs> how about other racist comments that I use in normal rap songs? Before globalization was at their peak, songs like Gangsta's Paradise by Coolio and other Coolio songs, they're all very normal, like they had good music in it and all that. But now songs with Jay-Z, they have at least 20 racist remarks in their songs. And this, might not affect some people, but it definitely influences people's thoughts, people's personality to talk with other people. Um, now I'm going to conclude with my points and summarize them all. First of all, um, our team said that because of globalization, uh, people have to uh, t t stereotypically judge different <coughs> people's cultures and by their music, and these music can change people's thoughts, people's personality. Your own culture is very important to know about because I'm very sure that. I'm pretty sure that anyone in this room cannot name 50 songs from their own culture, but can name 50 songs, uh, 50 American songs that have been globalized and that you have known. 
Um, thirdly, uh, we have also mentioned how uh, electronic music, dance music ha has taken over the genres and uh, haven't given enough chance to classical music, slower music, uh, the music that people learn from, uh, from their own cultures. Um, also, you have said the economy is better because of these uh, uh, rise of more uh, music uh, musicians and genres. But at the same time, we're losing music musicians who have a chance to get out there and show everyone what they're like. Therefore, I believe this motion must fall. Thank you. Thank you. Um, before I announce the winner, each team must give up to 90 seconds of feedback and advice to the other team. You may divide these 90 seconds however you like. I will score your feedback, but it will not affect which team won. Do not use this time to continue arguing about the motion. Focus on how your opponents could become better debaters. You have two minutes to plan your feedback. I will not give any feedback of my own. speak from your seats. I will stop you after 90 seconds. Negative team, you will go first. Remember to be courteous, constructive, and kind. Uh, I thought as a whole you guys were very confident when you spoke. Uh, you spoke eloquently. Very few pauses. Um, I thought you also had, uh, you also included uh, good statistics in your speeches. Oh, you guys are very good. It was a very tough debate. Um, I like, like, you know, your way of conveying your message for your debate motion. You said, like, you show with your hand gestures the way you talk that, yes, we are right, and, like, really convinced probably him and us and everyone, which, which made, it, made it much harder for us. And um, uh, you guys, very confident, said pretty, some good points. And maybe, like, so for improvement, maybe, like, the, you could make your points a bit, like, it was, your points were, very pretty good, but maybe you can elaborate a bit more than more of them because some of them were kind of simple, but that's it really. You guys are just really good. So what I want to say, like the, the point, the people on the game was really great. Like I was, was finding it really hard to think of rebuttals for a lot of the stuff you said, especially the third speaker. It's so good. Yeah. All right, go ahead. Um, I really like all of you as debaters. Um, I think you were all like really fluent and your speech flows a lot. In particular, honestly, I actually really liked your third speaker, how like he conveyed his messages through. However, I think that as a team, you could have all been a bit more fluid, mm -hmm. like joining your arguments together and relating to what one of you guys said, relating it to the next. But overall, this debate like was really enjoyable and Thank you. Um, I think as a team, you guys were very good. We were very, uh, your points were very concise, and you elaborated very well. And there's not much. Uh, there's nothing much to improve. Yes, uh, but you guys, um, you guys actually, uh, your points were actually more to that globalization. Uh, that music is good for global. I, I, it's just my opinion. Yeah, that 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 how music is good for culture. <laughs> But yeah, but I guess uh, we did we did uh, we did that too. But I didn't, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> I thought all of you were very clear, very organized. Uh, you have very interesting opinions, and I like your cue cards. <laughs> <laughs> all right. <coughs> this round goes to the affirmative team. Congratulations. Thank you all for coming. Do you know where you're going next? Yeah. Excellent. Thank you.